Today we're going to talk about the Rose Project and Erasmus, and I think we should get started by finding out who Erasmus is. The man who is known as Erasmus of Rotterdam, or simply Erasmus, was a Dutch Renaissance humanist, Catholic priest, social critic, teacher and theologian. So they thought that what can be a better name for an European exchange program than the name of a professor of humanistic thought and who also teaches in so many different countries. Erasmus was introduced in 1987 with the aim of increasing student movement within the European Economic Area countries and the candidate countries of Turkey and Croatia. The Erasmus Students Mobility Program offers students the opportunity to undertake a period of study or work, one semester or an academic year, in another European country, and for that study work to be recognized by the student's home institution as part of their degree with the support of the Commission of the European Community. This organization and program of the European Union co-found certain projects like work. This partnership has been conceived against youth unemployment that have been upsetting strong Europe society in the last five years. The project's motivation is identified by the specific objectives of the Erasmus Plus program, which are to improve the level of key competence and skills with particular regard to their relevance for the labour market and to foster quality improvement. Innovation, excellence and internationalization at the level of education through enhanced transnational cooperation. Last but not least, we can say it's an extensive plan for students who are trying to build and improve their career. Since this project has just started, we weren't able to do much. However, we've still been trying our best. We've done questionnaires and we're planning on doing them again after the end of this project in order to see how this project has educated us. We have also started learning C++. That has two reasons behind it. We need to get used to it and we have to know it for the Ross project. We're planning on this project being yet another successful one for us. Young people shall not only have access to high quality education, but also receive information early about their opinion and employment possibilities in different disciplines. By informing the students at an early stage about the possibilities that an education in the STEM disciplines can offer them, and in particular presenting to them the specific fields of robotic and automation, will encourage them and be an incentive for choosing to continue their study instead of dropping out. The first and long term rationale behind this proposal is in fact that one of the enhancing the attractiveness of STEM, science, technology, engineering and math disciplines by means of the use of robotics and automation, which have been proven to be a successful leverage mean. The proposed partnership aims to respond to the high expectations coming from a labor market that values not only their academic background, but also their broader competencies and skills developed during the learning path. The proposed methodology proposes a careful analysis of the present situation in terms of attractiveness of the STEM disciplines and the concerned partners. 